Okay, let's look at some titration past paper questions. Okay, this is the first one. Um, the problem with the titration questions is it's not really like a kind of standard one question, this is what you get. Sometimes they ask you to work out average volumes, like they do in this one, and then use that. Or they might just give you, ask you some information about titrations and then ask you to pick out things from the question to be able to understand it and do the calculation. So we're going to work our way through some of these examples just to get you comfortable with them. So for the first one, it's asking you to calculate the average volume. Well, you know that it's the two results that are concordant. That means within 0 .0, 0 0.2. Okay, so that means we cannot use 10 because it must just be a rough tighter. So the average volume then is going to be 9.5 centimetres cubed. You would get that by doing a... 9.4 plus 9.6 divided by 2, and that gives you 9.5. That's the average. Now we're going to use that number to calculate the number of moles of iodine released from 50 centimetres cubed of the standard salt solution. Bear in mind, we've got a concentration of 0.001 for the sodium thiosulfate, and we also have a volume, an average volume of 9.5. So you're going to be asked to use your answer from the previous question. Let's make this a wee bit more simple for us and we'll just write down the two things we're interested in. I2 and Na2 S2O3. That's two. So we'll start off by doing the mole ratio. Which is one mole to two moles. And as I have said in the previous calculations, there's going to be three steps here. One is to calculate the number of moles. Two is to use the mole ratio that we've already written down. Use mole ratio. And then number three is going to be used to calculate volume oops, or concentration. Now, this I'm going to put in brackets because in this question, all you're asked to do is calculate the number of moles of iodine. So you're not asked to ask, actually work out a volume or concentration. If you did, you would use NCV just like we've done before. So, this keeps moving around. Okay. So, we know the concentration of the sodium, the sodium thiosulfate is going to be 0 0.001. Before we even do that, let's do N equals CV. That concentration was 0 0.001 and the volume was 9.5 but we're going to actually turn that into litres so that's going to be 0 0.0095 When you work that out and you put that in your calculator you get 9.5 times 10 to the minus 6 That means that we're going to use a second step here because it was a 1 to 2 ratio that means the number of moles of iodine is half that so that is going to be 4.75 times 10 to minus 6 moles and that is your final answer so just be aware of that mole ratio and being able to use it to work out the moles of the other side. And then obviously this is nice one, this is only worth like two marks. And it would probably be worth another mark to be able to calculate the volume or concentration. But just as long as you understand how these work, we're all grand. So I'll leave this here in case you want to zoom in or kind of see anything. And um, let's try the next one. I'm going to talk through this because there's a few wee extra steps. So before we even look at the titration, it says describe in detail how a burette should be prepared and set up ready to begin the titration. Well here's going to be three, and it's got three marks, so let's have three wee steps just to have a wee think about. So you should first rinse the burette. With your desired solution.
that means that it's already got the solution you're going to be um, using, kind of coated on it. And that just means it's got rid of kind of any other solutions as well. So it just means you've got that there. So there's like no water or anything kind of in there to contaminate or um, make your results inaccurate. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fill burette past the line at the top of the scale. Oops. And that was actually zero centimeters cubed. Then you're going to want to let or run off solution to bring the meniscus, oops, or to bring the bottom of the meniscus. To the zero line. Oops. So it will look like this. Oops. So the bottom of the meniscus is at the top of that kind of zero line going through here. Those lines are not very good. They're supposed to be actually on the it, and that's what you're looking for. That's worth three marks. That's a quite a, quite a good wee question just to show you know how to use the burette. Now we're going to actually work out the concentration in the swim pool. So, reading the question, it tells you to take a hundred centimeter cube sample of a swim pool, and the thing taking a note here is that you're taking some sodium uh, hypochlorite. And you're reacting that with excess iodine, or uh, sorry, iodide ions. That doesn't matter, um, and then it produces some iodine. And the reason that you're doing that to then do the second step is because sodium hypochlorite is colourless, um, and you won't really be able to see a kind of end point in the titration. However, if you react it with potassium iodide and it produces iodine, that gives you the number of moles, because it's a one-to-one -one ratio here. Um, that means all your uh, sodium hypochlorite is used up and it will give you the same number of moles of iodine. Then you can use that iodine in your titration with the sodium thiosulfate to work out the number of moles of your sodium hypochlorite in there. So it's just like an extra wee step just so you can actually do the titration. So because this is a one-to-one -one ratio of the iodine to the sodium hypochlorite, that iodine then down here is going to be the same then as using a mole of sodium hypochlorite in that reaction. So that's like a 1 to 2 ratio then of the sodium thiosulfate to the sodium hypochlorite just because it's like a 1 to 1 and then you're using that one that you form from all of the uh, sodium hypochlorite in your sodium uh, thiosulfate solution uh, to, kind of, uh, to do the titration. So also it tells you the concentration of the sodium thiosulfate was 0 0.001 and you used an average volume of 12.4 centimetres cubed. Let's actually work out this now. So we'll take out the two things we're now interested in, which is going to be now a sodium a hypochlorite. There's too many sodium things in this. And then it's just sodium thiosulfate. Bear in mind what we've said about the mole ratios here. So it's going to be one mole of sodium hypochlorite oops, to your two moles of sodium thiosulfate. Now we know it's NDCV for this one, and again it's using the three step from before. We're going to calculate the number of moles, then we're going to calculate the mole ratio, and then we're going to calculate the volume or the concentration. This is asking for the concentration of the sodium hypochlorite in the pool water. So let's just work through the steps. So N equals CV, we know that concentration was, oops, 0 0.001 times 
times by 0. Point, and it was 12.4, but we're going to divide that by 1,000 to get the volume in litres. And that gives us 1.24 times 10 to the minus 5 moles. Like I've said to my class before, don't be too put off if you get a really small number. Um, these sometimes can be very small concentrations and uh, volumes that you're using. So therefore, you do get small number of moles. Then let's use the mole ratio. 1.24 on this side. That means that if you half that, because it's a 2 to 1 ratio of the sodium hypochlorite, then that means we must have half of that, which is 6.2, times 10 to the minus 6 moles here. Then, because we know the volume of the sample, it says it's 100 centimetres cubed, we can work out the concentration in that sample. C equals N divided by V, and that's 6.2 times 10 to the minus 6. And then we know that the volume then in litres would be 0 0.1 for that sample. So that works out to be 6.2 times 10 to minus 5 moles per litre. And that is your final concentration of the pool water. So I'm going to let you look at that if you need to kind of just check yourself. And that was part I, I, I. And then just remember that they're separate.